Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. The scribe's question in the gospel today is a question that was frequently asked in rabbinic discussions. There were 613 commandments in the Torah, 248 were positive, 365 were negative. There were extensive discussions among the rabbis about which were, uh, about which were heavy and light. That is, which ones of, uh, of greater importance and which ones are of lesser importance. Because there were also efforts to sort through the multitude of laws and commandments and identify which ones were really important. This is what Barclay calls, uh, calls the double tendency of, in Judaism. There was a tendency to expand the law limitlessly into thousands, hundreds of rules and regulations. But there was also the tendency to try to gather up the law into one sentence, one general statement, which would be a compendium of its whole message. Jesus' contribution to that discussion is what we hear today. Hear, O Israel, he says, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. He cites the most central tradition of Israel, the Shema. And so the rabbis had no objection to it. But the most distinctive dimension of Jesus' interpretation of the law is that he combines the Shema with the commandment from Leviticus to love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus neither neglected the love of God nor the love of neighbor. In his teaching, the love of God is intimately connected with the love of neighbor. We are familiar with this, in fact, very, very familiar. And perhaps we have already heard numerous homilies on this. But often, we do not pay attention or enough attention to the measure with which we are called to love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Some others love God emotionally with all their hearts, but lacking in understanding. They cry. They are deeply touched by the love of God, inspired by the love of God. But ask them to talk about the faith or talk about the meaning of their devotions. They could hardly say anything. A case of loving God with all your heart, but lacking in mind, in understanding. Some others love God with all their minds. They know the teachings of the faith. They can explain every tenet of the creed. They ask, ask them about the Bible. They can recite them to you verbatimly. But their love of God has no emotion. They are not touched by the Holy Spirit. They seem to be just robots uttering words, but would find no meaning in it. A case of loving God with all your mind, but necessarily loving Him with all your heart. Some others love God with all their hearts and their minds, but it does not change their value system. Their love of God does not reach the deepest recesses of their souls and their spark conversion. And some others love God with all their hearts, minds, and souls, but their love of God has no actual obedience. Their love of God is not translated into action. Their love of God is not translated into love for others as well. Friends, it will do us good if we ask ourselves, what is lacking in my love for God? Yes, I love God, but do I love Him with all my heart, with all my strength, with all my mind, and with all my soul? What is lacking in my love for Him? Does it lack emotion, knowledge? Does it fail to affect my very being and my very soul? Or do I fail to translate my love of, for him in my daily actions? Friends, when Jesus, when Jesus says all, he means all. He has given himself, all of himself for us. We are called to love him with our all as well. Amen.